Hey there folks, good morning, welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. It's a little cloudy out today. There was thunder in the air a few minutes ago, but hey, nothing nothing that uh, would impede us from our time together this morning. This week we've been talking about how to begin creating results. Those can be results in your job, in your business, in your life. Same pattern applies uh, kind of regardless of where you are trying to uh, get those results. So, <clears throat> we are continuing with that conversation today with step number four out of the five. Kind of convenient how it works out. There's five steps and there's five days in a week. I know, it's pretty cool. So, if you are joining me, whether you are watching live or on the replay, please let me know down in the comments. And if this is your first time watching, that's fantastic. Thank you for being here. Uh, and leave that in your comment also, just to let me know. One of the great benefits of leaving a comment is it will let you know when other people join the conversation uh, and have something to say about our topic this morning. So, uh, as we get ready to get started, we'll do that. Good morning, Ramona. Thank you for being here. All right, so... The three steps that we've gone through so far. First, you have to own it. You have to know exactly what the result is that you're trying to create. No need to having generalities or, or something non-specific. Be super specific about uh, the result you're trying to create. Step number two is to plan it. I'll revive my favorite quote, right? Plans are useless, but planning is priceless. Plan the steps necessary to achieve the outcome. Yesterday, we talked about what potentially is the hardest part of the whole process. That's make room for it. How, if you want to, to add something new or achieve a new outcome in your life, then there's something in there you got to let go of in order to make room for it. What is that thing you're going to let go of? And it's not a one-for-one -one trade if the thing you're trying to add is this big, you can't take something this big out. It has to be bigger than that that you take out. That leaves you room for maneuvering, for pivoting, for adjusting, uh, and implementing that new thing in your life. So number four, we're going to get to number four today. So if you've owned it, planned it, made room for it, now it's time to schedule it. You know, Brian Tracy said uh, one time that we are 80 something, 82, 83% more likely to achieve a result if we just write it down than anything else. Anything else we can do, uh, the other things we can do are good, but writing it down has an 80 plus percent, um, adds 80 plus percent uh, probability that we will achieve that result. So if you don't know specifically the goal that you're going to achieve, it's very difficult to create that goal, to get, achieve that goal, create that result. If you don't know how you plan to spend your day, or your week, or your month, or your quarter, it's very likely that it will happen to you instead of you creating it. One of the signs I have on the wall in my office says, stop letting life happen to you and begin creating the life you crave. Right? So, We'll do this at the daily level, but th there are so many levels that we do this. Actually, let me walk through it backwards. I typically plan, uh, start planning a, with a year. This is what I want to accomplish next year. And then I break that year down into quarters. We got one big page, 11 by 17 page that has all that on it in seven different categories. And then each quarter is broken up into 13 weeks, and then I plan weeks. I don't I don't really plan months as much as I plan quarters and weeks. And then those weeks, of course, are made up with days, right? So um, th there are lots of great planners out there. I have one that I'm going to make available to you. Um, but here's what I want you to take away from uh, our conversation today. Two things. One is you have to plan it. Two, use block time. So... Uh, one of the things that I have, have mentioned to you before is um, in order to get things done, you have to have a system. So you can get it out of your head, into the system, and then trust the system. One of the great things about block time and, and using block time for scheduling is that you can have confidence that there's a block coming up for that, so I don't need to spend any time or any mental energy right now 
worrying about that. That's coming up later. Okay? If you don't use something like block time and you just address, you know, whatever flame is lapping up at your hindquarters at the moment, then you're just constantly going around in this circle. And then none, <clears throat> none of the activities get your highest and best attention. Right? But if you can take time, focus on one activity for a given period, and you know that there's a period coming up for something else, or for that, that other thought, that random thought that you had uh, that came along, then that can ease that uh, pain a little bit. The block scheduling is really simple. It's just 30 minutes or 60 minutes devoted to one task. So if you look at the outcome you're trying to create, and I mean, look, this is the simplest implementation. You can block plan your whole day, right? But um, if you have one result that you're trying to create and you need to spend an hour a day working on that, put that hour on your schedule somewhere. Don't, don't let other people, that's a sacred hour. Don't let other people schedule meetings. Don't accept meetings. The earlier in the day that you do it, the more... It's, um, flexibility I guess you'll have with that the less likely someone else is to impinge on that time but make that block schedule that block for that one hour to do only that thing now if you spend an hour a day working on your result five to seven days a week do you think you can achieve that result probably, probably so alright so for example um, I have block time scheduled to do email at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. And I, yeah, I get them, I, some of them, I have filters set up. I get some of them on my phone throughout the day. But most of them, I don't. You know, if it's really important, there's this other cool thing that you can do with this device, and it's, you know, call somebody. They'll call me if it's that important, right? Um, but it's, it's about managing your time. The fourth step schedule it is really about managing how you spend your time if you don't manage how you spend your time you just kind of let it happen that's not a recipe for success all right let's get some other hellos in this morning good morning mark vicky my bride is watching good morning dear uh jeremy and anita hey anita great to have you with us this morning so I hope some of that's been helpful. That is step number four. Number five is coming up tomorrow on Free Coaching Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously, I need more coffee. Step number five coming up tomorrow on Free Coaching Friday. Be sure to be here to get that one. That one is the one that's kind of the linchpin to the whole thing uh, that will help you create that result that you are pursuing. If you have a question, something you'd like to ask me privately, that's okay. Send me a message uh, here on this page, The Unashamed Nonconformist on Facebook, or send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. I will take a look at those and get back to you. Uh, otherwise, if you know someone, just one person, who is having difficulty creating results, share this video with them. They will appreciate that. They'll ascribe some of that value to you. You'll become a valuable person, more valuable person in their life. And they'll get the benefit of participating uh, in our program here. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget, tomorrow's kind of the key to making it all happen. Don't You don't want to miss tomorrow's show, Free Coaching Friday, right here, same time, same place on Facebook. Until then, you have a fantastic Thursday, and I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Now I'll talk to you in the morning.